Hey, what's up everybody? Um, if you are watching this video right now, hey, for the first time, hey, my name is Diamond. Welcome to my channel. Do me a favor, subscribe for me. Thank you. Um, so today's video, I'm going to be doing my hair. I'm going to be doing a wig and I had an idea and was inspired to do like a wig, but like a bob with a streak of red in it so that's what i'm going to be doing today and i'm just going to show y'all because i'm just going to do it anyways and this is part of me doing something for myself something that i have been wanting to do just do something to a new wig and express some creativity and if you're watching this that do something i want to do that's from one of my tips of how to become a better person so if you haven't already watched that how to become your best self go back pause go watch that video and then come back and you'll feel a world of difference better and look at this in a whole nother perspective. So, without further ado, thank you guys for watching and tuning in. And stay tuned to watch me transform this wig. Purr. Before I even started filming, I had to make sure I had what I needed. I'm using the Adore, damn, the Adore color in Intense Red. And I'm using this. Um, this is for, I don't even know. I'm using some bleach and some, you know, powder and some developer. I'm probably going to go with the 30 today. But I do have this one. I'm going to use this one up, the 35 volume. It's for blonde specifically, so I feel like it'll lighten it up a bit faster. And, uh, I have some bleach that I'm going to be using. It's just some regular BW2 powder. Regular BW2 powder. And I am about to go and grab some gloves because I always start this without gloves. All right, you guys, I am back with my gloves on and now I'm about to get ready and start parting off what's going to be where and what else is going to be what but i think i'm going to use foil now so i'll be back again all right you guys i am back with everything i need this time i promise um okay so let's just jump straight in i'm just gonna do i kind of like in my head i'm picturing it okay it's gonna be a bob right so it's gonna be middle part bob you know obviously so it's gonna be middle part bob but i also want it to be like over the side so if I want to switch the part up I can go this way also with it so I think I'm just going to part a little headband around here and that's what I'm going to do but I'm going to process it twice because I want it to be really bright and really pretty so without further ado why do I keep saying that I'm just in a presenting mood um if y'all can hear my tv in the background it is what it is but I'm going in and adding two scoops of the bw2 powder two scoops only and then I eyeball the amount of developer that I put in mix it till it's a uh, toothpaste like consistency and it works good every time like I have, have had no problems but um just eyeballing it really is good enough for me like I could get it spot on so just start that up and then go on to the application Now I'm just going in with that same, the end of that same applicator brush, y'all, none fancy. I'm going in and doing about an inch of space that I want to bleach on, uh, on both sides. I wanted it, it to be kind of thin and not take up the whole frontal, so I did like, um, I would say two centimeters or one inch on each side and then went on to bleach that with the foils. Foils help to lighten up the process because it produces heat. And um, I, I processed that for 30 minutes. And if you guys are doing this at home, make sure you go back in and double check like I did. Because once that bleach is on and it starts processing, you really can't go back. So always double check your work before you do something permanent. Then 
then starting from the tip going up to the top you just want to go in with that bleach and kind of just paint it on make sure you get the front the back and between parts you know everything that you want covered you don't want no patchy cover up And here I'm going in with the foil because, like I said, it helps the processing time a bit. So I just went in with the foil and did the same thing on both sides. Okay, now for the other side. Hey y'all, so I'm currently in the process of grilling now. So, I have this right here. I'm going to take it off. It's been 30 minutes. I'm going to take it off and see how it lightened. Good, but not great. We need one more round to get it right. And then we're going to be good, good. So, I'm going to take this, wash it off, let it sit outside for a little bit, air dry, and I'll be back. Hey, what's up y'all? Okay, I'm checking back in. I have air dried this and on some parts I did mess up and leave some bleach in so it's going to be patchy. But this is the first lift. We're going to do one more lift. Try to get it to a nice yellow blonde color and then we're going to apply the dye in the morning. So I'm just going in with the same everything, same, um, same measurements of everything. Perfect. Every time, first time, every time, like... I'm gonna go with it. Okay. So yeah, this is what I was talking about. I had left this part out and didn't wash the bleach out. So when I wash it out next time, I'm not gonna do that. I can't do that. Cause that part is probably dead dead. So where are my gloves? Yeah. So loud. I'm gonna let this sit for 30 minutes also and then and the wash it out really good and be done. Yes, I can use gloves. Don't talk about it. Is it working? Is it working? Ah! Y'all don't know how much hair I'm gonna do with this camera. I'm trying to get it to go to 30p, 100m, whatever that is. I had to get three different SD cards in order to do this. So y'all come watch this install video. So it's been about a week since I last put this, uh, even mess with this wig, so. And I figured I'm ready to install it today, so. Let's get on with it, shall we? And I put this ring light here, because light is good. Okay. 
gonna come back whenever I'm ready to I'm finna put the wig on and start it, y'all. Hey y'all, I'm back. The wig is on. I'm thinking about doing a side part and then just cutting it into the bob because side part is kind of giving though. Or a middle part. I don't know, y'all. It's so many hard decisions that I have to make. Cut here. Flat iron it. But, um, first of all, uh, let me put some a little bit of thing because I see that thing on the camera. Yeah, hair depression is real. Like, hair depression is real. If you have hair depression, if you feel sad when your hair is not done or not sad, but it's just like you don't feel like that bitch. And you may have hair depression. I'm going to go get my hot comb and start styling this. I'm going to get my hot comb, my little tiny straightener, and my big straightener. And I have scissors right here. With some bio silk. I love bio silk. Ooh, that's a lot. Shit, that's too much. Probably still too much. that through there and I'll be ready to put the heat on it I kind of wanted to be able to do this so I'm probably just gonna start chopping you know like that should go you know how that should go but this try to get it hot enough Then just be like, oh, it's gonna get hot enough when it get hot. Okay, it's gonna get hot when it get hot, y'all. Okay, I'm just trying to make the, sure this part up front is flat because it has a lot of hair leading to this. So I'm just going. I'm just working my way up there, trying to um, really just the roots, the most important part. Cause the hair is gonna get flat ironed. I did my shit on the color though because this color is exactly how I wanted it. So that's what the front gonna look like. Let me see. I'm gonna cut layer. I'm gonna just cut them like this. And I'm gonna start cutting here. This one, I ain't got to do all that because it's kind of flat on this side, so I'm just going to go down with that. Yeah, I be getting so hot when I'm installing these wigs. Why am I sweating? Why am I sweating? I feel like it's because all of this heat I'm using, it ain't doing nothing but just coming into the air. Okay, let me make sure that's a cute bang. Bob gonna be this long. I think the bang should be a little shorter. Just a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. So, since I have my hair going this way, it's kind of gonna lay like this. I just need like one little swoop over here for baby hair. So. Yeah, like a little, one little swoop over here. Okay. It'll work. 
I could have, I, I kind of messed up a little bit, but you can't really tell unless you're all up in my wig. So, yeah, worst kind of worst, I'll just leave it. Does this part need to be plucked? Um, I plucked it already, but I don't know. I don't know. It looks alright to me. It's a new wig. Like, I don't want it to be bald. Okay. So, my flat iron is ready. So, let's get on with the baby hair, which fell out. It was a perfect piece of... I think this was it. Okay, I'm going to pluck a little bit because it's a lot. I want it to swoop the right way. They said, like... You should angle your baby hairs downward. I feel like this is a lot for some baby hairs. But we're gonna see what they do. Okay, we got most of them. I'm using a uh, Nairobi. I remember one time I told this girl, I was like, um, her eyebrow, like her baby hairs went all the way to her, uh, her eyebrows. So I was like, why, why do your natural baby hairs go all the way to your eyebrows? She was like, she had said some shit. She was like, oh, because I don't got a big ass forehead like you. And I was like, like, wow. Okay. Um, okay. Then miss girl, like whatever. Ooh, this kind of look like barbecue sauce smear on my face, huh? Like, I'm not really loving it right now. Maybe a little bit of a makeup on. I'm gonna let that sit. Where am I thing at? I'm gonna just spray a little bit of this on here so it could just do its thing and work on the lace while I got it setting because if some parts is coming up, I'm sweating some areas, so just let it do its thing. I'm gonna use I have a baby list, but today I'm gonna just use my um Infinity Pro by Conair. Let me see, let me see. It's called Infinity Pro by Conair. Um because I'm trying to get that campus sponsorship counter, I emailed the dude. I don't know if it was a scam or not, but he was like, Hey, do you wanna be a part of the campus thing? He's gonna bring me back. Like what the fuck? So we're gonna see. Uh, so yeah, this is a really good one if you cannot, either cannot afford or don't want, don't feel like spending something on a baby list because mine was a gift. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. My baby list was a gift. This is cool. It gets hot. It, it gives you that silky look. You know, it's not no cheap flat iron and it's durable because it's a con air. <clears throat> so let me put these products up and then wait for my flat iron to heat up. Half of me just wants to cut it, like right now. I feel like I should do that right now. Should. Okay, gonna cut it here. Ah! I always be scared. <laughs> I always be scared when it's time to cut. Always chase with a comb to get it more straight. Chase with a comb, get it ball straight, and then let's see how much we want to cut. She is cute. Ah. You already know I'm finna have hang time on this bit. Let's ignore the choppiness because we're gonna fix it later. I'm gonna fix it. Just 
So, um, I don't be liking to do my, uh, to be in here all day doing my hair. So, I do a lot, pretty large sections. And it's easiest to see on the last cut where the guidelines are. And I'm just making sure everything is cut straight. Okay. I actually, it's not a bad cut. Like, it's actually not a bad cut. I'm pretty proud of the job I just did. Like, is it salon quality? No, but I still did my daddy. Okay, and then one more thing is you're going to need to bring a piece forward so you could translate the length across, and then that's it. Because we don't want no asymmetrical. I'm not going for the asymmetrical look today. Even though I have not done one of those, I should do one of those. Is that the same length or a different length? I feel like it's a little bit shorter. I feel like we need to cut off a little bit more. Okay, I think that's pretty accurate. Hey y'all, I just finished my hair, just finished my makeup, everything. I'm loving it. I'm so glad I went with a side part. It just looks so much. It's Gip. <laughs> I love this. Is it the straightest bob in the world, y'all? No, it's not. But guess what? Yeah, girl, it's still cute. Okay. So I'm finna enjoy my evening with my mans. And thank y'all for watching me put this wig on halfway. My camera did die, but quality finna be good everything's gonna be good i'm a bad bitch all right bye y'all thanks for watching